This video is brought to you by Black Ant King, the best saleable product of the world. Makes your penis larger, thicker, harder, and stronger. Good morning from the sweltering hot Angola City, Philippines. Guys, it has been hot, hot, hot here in the past couple weeks once again. Uh, Ming Ming does not have school. Hannah, they started allowing the private schools to make the decision on whether or not the students can come to class or not. Uh, most of your private schools do have air conditioning, so uh, they are. Uh, no. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. They they uh, they let it up to them, and if they have air conditioning, they're going. However, like your public schools, no air con, so it's just way too hot uh, for the kids. So once again. Sweltering guys, sweltering. Of course, we're taking our walk. That's all I gotta do. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna walk. I've completed my mission here in Angley City with uh, with my channel. Now we're just gonna walk and talk. If I wanna rant and rave one day, I'm gonna rant and complain. Uh, whatever I feel like. 56, 70 is the base rate, 56, 70. Uh, guys, the uh, peso rate this past week jumped up to 57. My bank, my bank, I was getting it at 57.20. Unfortunately, I have to wait for my checks to clear in order to process and do my money transfer. Uh, but yeah, 57. There's nothing, nothing going on here in the Freelance Park area. Except for where the, uh, what do you kind of call it's going to roll through the uh, train. The train is a coming, baby. So, guys, I have a question for you. Let me ask you this Is it a curse to be married and living in Angley City, Philippines? Is it a curse? We're going to talk about that. Yes, sir. We're going to talk about being married and living in Angley City as we do our walk. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, some people think in order to live in Angley City, not, not some people, uh, maybe some people. There's some people out there with delusional thinking, right? That if you're married and you live in Angley City, like, you don't belong here. You just don't belong here. Why not? There are many, I would say there's probably more married men living here in Angley City than there are single guys here. You know, guys, those that choose to be single, choose to be single. Those that choose to be married, choose to be married. Simple as that. Now, being married here, I guess, if you're married here, most, a real man, let's put it this way, a real man, and I know some people are going to jump up and have something to say, and that's great, because it is what it is. A real man who's made a commitment, a real honest commitment, in being married to their wife, right? They can control their penis. I don't know if we can say the other word, but we're gonna say penis. They can control their penis. They don't feel the need to stick it into everything and anything, all right? Now, yes, living here, it is very simple. Very easy. As a man who's married to run around and stick their penis in everything. It's easy. All you gotta do is pay for it, right? I'm good, my friend. All you gotta do is pay for it, right? You run down here. You can go to Walking Street. You can go to Fields Avenue here. You can pick up Freelance Girl, all right? Pay for it and stick your penis in it, right? It's very simple. But there's a lot of guys here that are married that don't. 
I, they go out with their wives. They go down once a week, twice a week, down to the clubs on Walking Street, go in the clubs, have a good time, drink, maybe go listen to a few bands, and they're not going down there to pick up a girl and pay for a girl just to stick their pants in it, right? They're not. They love their wives. They enjoy being with their wives, right? Don't get me wrong, there are guys here that do cheat on their wives, and they have no problem cheating on their wives, right? And the wives know it. Their wives know it, or they don't know it. A lot of times the wives, they're not gonna say anything. Why aren't they gonna say anything? Simple. They have a nice house. They have a nice car. They have a they have a nice uh, uh, phone. All right. Maybe they have children. They're not going to say anything because they like the life and the lifestyle that they're living. They put up with it. The guy knows it. All right. So be it. Then you have ones that maybe there is an agreement where the. Uh, up wife doesn't mind doesn't care big deal let him do what he wants it is what it is i know a guy or guys i could say guys that uh they used to run up here to angley city once a month maybe run down to uh barrio barreto once a month who are married just to cheat on their wife just to cheat on the wife. And they would come up with really good excuses on why they would come up here. The hey, police. my man. All right, <laughs> subscriber. Uh, and they would come up with great excuses like, I gotta get away. I got to uh, get around foreigners and uh, speak with foreigners. I'm getting tired of uh, not being able to speak with foreigners. They would come up with amazing excuses, all right? Did the wives know? Does the wife know? Or did the wife know? Or who knows? But they probably did. All right, here's the thing. It's good for the goose, it's good for the gander, right? So if the guy feels who's married feels, hey, uh, well, let me run around and let me stick my penis and everything. All right, well, what if the wife decides, hey, uh, let me have people stick their penis inside me. Is it okay then? Oh, hell no. That husband gonna get mad. What's good for the goose is good for the gander, right? So, uh, I think it's funny when I, when I hear somebody say, if you're married, you don't belong in Angley City. Uh, there's a lot of ex-military guys here that were stationed here back in the day. You know, now they've decided to retire here. Now they've decided to be here, and they're happily married. There's more happily married guys here than probably unha unhappily married guys here. There's more married guys here than there is probably single guys living here, living here. I'm not counting those that come here to specifically come to the entertainment district here. And what's wrong? What is wrong with a married guy, people watching, being out, being around? What's wrong with a married guy admiring beautiful women? Might be married if we're not dead. Just because we admire a beautiful woman, and say, wow, she's a good looking girl. Wow, that's a sexy looking dress. Wow, she's pretty. Wow, this, wow, that. What's wrong with that? Here comes the Koreans. There they are. in her eyes uh, what's wrong with that but you can't admire a, a good-looking girl I don't like that I like this van so nothing wrong with admiring good-looking women doesn't make you dead you know you're not know, dead big deal I sit up here on Walker Street with Adrian 
Talk with Adrian. Talk with my friend Robert. Kill time. People watch. All right, fellas, go get them. Go get them, fellas. Go get your money change. Money change first. See, they come off and get, they get out of the van. They hit the money changer here, right? And uh, they get their money. They get ready. They get ready to hit the clubs. Nothing wrong with hanging out and uh, looking at beautiful women. Nothing. You have no desire to stick the penis in it. Right, Robert? Absolutely. Robert. Yeah, you betcha. Thank you. Are you, uh, you know, it's okay to admire beautiful women, right? Oh, absolutely. Now, do you want to stick your penis in every woman? No. 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 But there's nothing wrong with admiring beautiful oh, women. Yeah. Right? Right, Adrian? Yes, sir. You got a shout out? Yeah, shout out to Miss Bromwell. Shout out to uh, Bruce Senator from Central Florida. Yeah. Shout out to Edgar Cruz from Virginia Beach. Uh, what about, what about, uh, Daryl? Daryl, Daryl, Daryl Charity, Daryl Charity. Oh, shout out to Daryl Charity from Laguna. All right, all right. From Laguna? <laughs> Nothing wrong with hanging out. Looking at beautiful men. Not a damn thing wrong with it. Ah, there's my thoughts. There's my thoughts. What's going on? Let's see what's going on on Walking Street here. Looks like the garbage hasn't been picked up. Somebody mentioned something where I talked about the garbage. Oh, it is there. Oh, what are you going to do? It stinks. Oh, owl's nest. Check out the owl's nest, right? I don't know. Somebody may get mad if I say this, but, but it looks like it was designed by, let's see, a elementary school student. Like the owl's nest lettering is very small. The owl is very small. Like blow that stuff out. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just me. Like you can see Cube Bar and Avalon and all the other ones. They got big, huge marquees. To me, that looks like uh, that was done by an amateur. Uh, don't talk. What? I'm just telling you what it looks like. Appearances. Oh. Ah, oh, yeah. It is warm. Morning. The asphalted this here, A Santos, A Santos Street. They asphalted that all the way down to Suler Street, and then Suler Street out to uh, out to uh, MacArthur Highway. All right, let's get down here. Let's get past the music at Angel Witch. All right, all right, all right. Hey, Brian, what's up? Good morning. Morning, morning. How you doing? Good morning. Yeah, all right. <laughs> right, yeah. <sighs> Barnana Rama. Barnana. I was told that guy from Barnana, the, uh, the uh, I got into it with Mr. Leon. I was told he's being canned from there. I don't know. We'll find out. Pappy Street Eats. Get down here to Pappy's Bar and Chill Street Eats. Get down here. Get yourself some Street Eats. All right, here we go. Here on the right hand side. Let's see if I can poke my head in here. This is where they're doing this construction here. I didn't really say anything. Wow. Hello, my friend. This is going to be a club? One yeah. big disco club? Yeah. Or a, a bar? A club? Yeah. Wow. This is coming along, guys. Coming soon. Yeah. Very, very big. Big stage. Many, many girls. Many, many girls, huh? Many, many beautiful girls. Is this going to be the bar here, right, I guess? Or the DJ? There's the stage, probably all seating here. All seating up there. There's the steps going up. This is going to be big. Very nice. When's it going to open, my friend? You know? Don't, don't know? Don't when it's done, right? That's when it opens. <laughs> well, you guys, they, they, they won two, three. They did like four buildings that were here. One, two. You can kind of see. One, two, three, four, maybe five. I would say five buildings were here, right? One, two, three, four, five, maybe five, maybe six, something like that. But wow, this is, is gonna be nice when it's done. Very nice. 
Another club. Let's throw another. The other side. The other side. All right, cool. Owner, he's where? Over here? Over here. All right. All right. Wow, that's nice. That's going to be nice. Huh. He said the owner's over here. I talked, I talked to one of the owners before. Uh, maybe it's cosplay. Who knows? We'll find out. We'll find out before I get out of here, right? Only got another month and a half, guys. Hannah Grace, Hannah Grace is graduating at the end of next month. I will be out of here. We will be out of here. The house is coming along down in the province. It's coming along 5685. It is coming along really well down there. Of course, things don't move as fast as they would if I was down there, but they are, it is moving along. Uh, we're excited. Like I said, end of May, Hannah graduates. And then, of course, got to get the truck, got to get loaded up, got to get down there. All right, fellas. All right, I think you know what I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna wrap this one up. That's enough of walking and talking. I'm gonna wrap this one up. 16 minutes. But that is. Uh, that's the. That's my walk and talk for the day. Like I said, hot. That's my thoughts. Being married is it a curse? Being married, living here in Angley City, Philippines. I guess it all depends on how you look at it. Morning. I guess it all depends on how you look at it, right? If you're single, yeah, you you don't you don't want to be married. If you're married, if you're happily married, you're happily married. It's up to the individual. So, all right, guys, that's it. We shall talk to you later.